Hello, it's Miss Emma. I just want to explain what you can do for the Speedy 6 Activity 6. On Activity 6, where you've got a made up word, the teacher can either tell the children what the speech sounds are. The teacher might say, this is the word clim. I know it's a made up word, or she might say, is it a made up word? How do we know? We can check by looking at the Speech Sound King's code mapping book. We can look in the dictionary. Is this word in the dictionary? But she can usually say this is k or i m klim, in which case the children then think, OK, that's a picture for k. What other pictures of k do I know? And they start doing the pictures of k above there. You might give them a couple of seconds, first of all, to do the ones they know without looking at the cloud and then give them a chance to look at the spelling clouds. So, all, what other choices do I know for all, etc.? I. What other choices for mmm? Okay, so you might have given them 20 seconds to do all the choices they know off the top of their head. And then you might give them another 20 seconds to actually look in the cloud, find the k. So it's getting them used to using their spelling cloud key ring. K. And the other choices, so they're going to add the k there. Now, another way to differentiate is that the teacher might not tell them the speech sound, so not tell them it's k or i m. Now, when they're coding, if they're at the purple code level, these are all representations of speech sounds in the green, green or purple code level. Purple, purple, green, purple. So the children are already used to k or i m. So even if you didn't give the speech sounds, they're likely to a klim. And then again, is it a real word? Look in the dictionary. But even by the purple code level, they're already, because of the skills and concepts, knowing, OK, that could be a picture for k, but it could also be a picture for something else. So what the teacher will say is, OK, so put all the k above and the all and the it and the m. But do you know anything else that could be? It could be a picture of s. OK, we'll do all the other choices for s underneath that you know. And again, give them 10 seconds or whatever. It depends on the children you've got, whether you're working on a one-to-one -one or in a group or a whole class. They can have a look at their spelling cloud key ring. Give me all the choices in 20 seconds for s. Then they'll look at the L. Could that represent a different speech sound other than just all? Okay, so that's in activity six of the Speedy Six. What we're actually doing with the Speedy Six activity six is we're saying this is one part of it. The other part of the Speedy 6, Activity 6, is, and the teacher can leave this, leave this, or the children can do it. I might write a word on the board like, oh, this is very difficult to do, a video at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to write a word on the board. It is a real word, but I've, but I've chosen the wrong sound picks. The D actually is the right sound pick. So you give it to them and say, here's a real word, wrong sound pick, see if they can work it out. If they want their first clue, because they can't, you'll code map it for them. So then you're going to show them where the sound picks are. And some children, if they've got really good code knowledge already, are going to think, OK, so I know that is there. This, what could that be a picture of? Oh, it could be a picture of K. Oh, I think that might be a ooh. What could that be? Ow, oh, cut, oh, ow, oh. I might admit that a little bit more difficult. But supposing the children haven't got such good code, code knowledge, the next, the second clue is I'll put it in a sentence without actually saying what the word is, obviously. I love this spelling. Mm. <laughs> so they've got to work it out, so put it in a sentence. So, k, o, ow, d, and then obviously afterwards they can actually have a look in the in there. See, is that in there? Yes, there it is. K, o, k, o, ow, d, etc. As you can see, that's a very old key ring, and it hadn't got the l l e. If the children discover new sound picks. They write to me, and as long as it's in more than one word, it goes in the cloud, and I also write them a poem. The children love doing this themselves, so I would, to be honest, suggest after you've been using the Speedy Six for a week or so, 
that the children do it. So the children actually think, they have to think of a, a, a real word, like supposing the word was sat, they might think of the word sat, but they'll change the sound pick. So they can either use their clouds, so think, oh, what could I use? I know I'll trick them by using this for s. So I've used my s, ah, what could I use for ah? And look at that athlete hearing. Sure, off the top of the head, but again, they're getting used to all the spelling choices and the keyring. Ah, I know, I'll put AI. So we've got S, ah, and then we've got t. What can I do for t to confuse them? Let's do a PT. Okay, so I know these are the wrong sound picks for the right speech sounds for sat, s, at, s, at, sat. At sat. So their partner, when the partner thinks, I have no idea what that word is, the first clue is that they'll code map it. Then they might get it. And if not, they'll say, I am mm, down on my chair, let's say. So that's activity six of your speedy six.